So, as Jan said, I wasn't, uh, wasn't very active last year. Um, in September, I was given a, a diagnosis where you get eh, three to six months, and it had taken five months to get it. And in uh, late October, things were real bad. And then I got an experimental treatment, and uh, one year and eight days ago, it started working. And I'm not dying any faster than anybody else. So. One of the things that made me really sad uh, during September and October was there was stuff that I, my kids are 24 and 28 and I hadn't gotten around to telling them. I thought I would have a lot of time to tell them. And I started figuring that stuff out. So I didn't learn it then, I already knew it. And I thought, now I get to tell my kids it over the next few decades, but I've gathered it up, so I'm gonna tell it to you. And it's, it's, these are really simple things. Uh, they're not complicated at all, uh, but they're actually also not easy at all. And so I thought for each one I would give you a personal a version of the rule and then a work version of the rule because they, they're kind of universal. So I was, I was angry a lot in September and October. Uh, if you find yourself in this position, it's okay to be angry. Uh, but I got angry about dumb things and one was I had this big pile of scented soaps that people had given me and I like scented soaps, but I never opened them because there was always a soap by the sink. And you can't open a new bar of soap when you have a current bar of soap. And I'm like, one day I'm like, I don't care. You can't stop me. I'm gonna use this soap. I don't know who I was talking to. I used the soap and it was really nice. Really liked it. In fact, and I didn't know when I opened it, I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna manage to finish this bar of soap, but I did. I'm, I used up a whole bar of mandarin scented soap and I'm, on, I'm almost done a bar of rose scented soap. You know, some of you like want to start a user group or you want to learn a new language or you want to learn a new framework. And, and I encourage you to say to the air, well, I'm gonna do it and you can't stop me. Because the reason you can't do it, well, ask, what is that reason? Like, okay, you don't have a thing at work to use this new framework that you wanna learn. Does that mean you're forbidden to learn the framework? It does not, okay? You don't, there's not a board that you apply to for permission to start a user group or to start writing a blog or to come and speak at user groups, because but, but user groups, as you know, if you run one, are begging anyone, please come and talk about anything. So if you wanna speak at a user group, a user group will let you come and speak at them. So you do not need permission to do some of the things you want to do. But we do have some genuine constraints in, in our lives. And I just became a grandmother four months ago, and I gave my daughter this advice. I said, sleep when the baby sleeps. Yes, it is hard to cook when the baby is awake. And it is hard to chat on the phone to a friend. It is hard to catch up on Facebook when the baby is awake. But it is impossible to sleep when the baby is awake if you are the only adult in the house. And so when the baby is asleep, you need to prioritize sleeping. In work, this means there are genuine constraints. You do not have two big screens on the bus. You do not have, in most cases, your boss's attention on your daily commute to work. So when you are at the office and you have your big screens and you have some time with your boss, do the things you can only do then. But the other half of this is I started swimming daily as an adult. And you know you can't breathe underwater. It's true, right? It's not true. You can breathe underwater. Out. I'm not magical, I can't breathe in underwater, but, but in fact, it turns out that if you breathe out underwater, then you only have to lift your head up long enough to breathe in, which is way easier on your neck muscles than having to breathe out and in again. So some constraints are real, and some constraints are not so real, okay? And if you breathe out underwater, then you only have to breathe in while you're above the water. If you watch the recorded videos that you told yourself you would watch on the bus, then when you get to work, you can talk to your boss, okay? So where your constraints are real, understand your priorities and the things that can only be done at certain times, that's when you do them. This also applies to things like, I can only do that if I'm in a good mood, which I have a ton of work that I can only do if I'm in a good mood. Certain emails, for example, cannot be answered unless I have a lot of energy and I'm very happy. And you need to know this about yourself and do those things at those times. You know, I, I enjoyed using the soap. It smelled nice. I also discovered, and you guys may not know this, so I'm gonna share it with you. Every day, every single day, there is a sunrise. 
Also, there is a sunset. You can count on it. And you should be able to arrange to see one or the other. Because they're pleasant. That's all. I mean, they'll happen if you don't look at them. They don't need you. But looking at them is pleasant. If your code builds the first time, it doesn't matter whether you just immediately say, yeah, but I bet it won't run, or whether you stop and go, I am a hero because my code compiled. Your code doesn't care any more than the sunset cares if you're looking at it, but you will care. So take a minute and celebrate little things because these really are the good old days that you will look back on. You will a year from now say, God, remember when we started this project and I was smart and all my stuff built all the time? Not like now when I hate myself. So go ahead and enjoy it while you're having it. I had to learn to let people look after me, which was incredibly difficult. I'm a C++ programmer. What are we about? We're about control, right? And we're about, I'll do it all myself. This is the language where people say to me, like, okay, be right back, I'm just writing a JSON parser, because there are no other JSON parsers around that we could use. Uh, everybody wants to do everything for themselves, always, right? I had to learn to let people do things for me. What I discovered is, people like doing things for you. People love being helpful. If you answer questions, who answers questions on Stack Overflow? Right? Do you do it for the money? Because if you do, I want you to tell me how we get the money. Um, <laughs> people want to be helpful. So you can let people help you. And you have a support community. There's people on Twitter. There is, of course, the C++ Slack. There are various Facebook groups. And yes, there is Stack Exchange. If you're scared of Stack Exchange, email me. I wrote a course on how to use Stack Exchange and not die trying, and I can get you a free code so that you can watch at least that course. But you also have friends, fellow geeks in our community, and you have coworkers. When your code won't compile, when you don't understand, when you make sure you're not doing it wrong so you go see how the standard libraries from other people do it and it's different, like you have people you can say, who's wrong? Is it me or them? We all have a professional support community, even if we're the only developer in our company. We have the wider world, we have the internet. So uh, get support and don't feel that you're consuming a thing when you do that, because you are actually giving people the opportunity to help you, which they want. All right? If they don't, they won't volunteer to help you. Like, don't feel bad. It's fine. And finally, and Jens, you mentioned this when we talked about starting user groups, there's no substitute for doing the work. It is amazing how long a thing takes to finish while you're not working on it. If there's something that needs to be done, when push comes to shove, there is absolutely no substitute for doing it. So the reason you're not doing it is because you think there's a constraint. The reason you're not doing it is that you're nervous. The reason you're not doing it is you need some help. That's all an appropriate reason to pause around doing it, but it's not a good reason to never do it. So finally, in the end, just do the work, and just get started. That also means that don't be ashamed of the fact that you have to put in work to do things. There's this like hero culture of, uh, uh, I just threw that together in five minutes. Uh, oh, I read one blog post about that and I know all about it. It includes speakers who like, I don't rehearse. I just, I just type some slides up on the plane and then I come and say it. You know, we almost don't want to say, I spent a week, I wrote a bunch of sample code, I ran it three times, I asked some other people on Slack, I read the source code in the implementation of the standard library that came with my compiler, and finally, I finally, I now get this. Nobody wants to say, I had to work really hard for this, and I don't know why. So, sometimes I work really hard, okay? Some things that look effortless and easy are in fact the result of a lot of practice and hard work. And if you need to work hard to get something, that's okay. That's part of the deal. That's why not everybody can do it. So, don't be held back by constraints that are not true, like that you can't open new soap when there's a perfectly good soap by the sink. But when a constraint is real, like you can't breathe in underwater, work with that. You can still breathe out underwater. Enjoy what you get, including green tests, including someone who said thank you. Uh, I tweeted 
a month ago, if you get a chance to walk up to someone and say, I did what you said and it worked, please walk up to them and say it. I'll tell you that again. It's a great thing to say. And enjoy saying it as well as enjoying hearing it if you get a chance to hear it. Trust people. People want to help you. People are nice. You have a support network. Bottom line, what needs to be done needs to be done, so start and do it. And that's what I figured out while I was supposed to be dying.